now the bar has been raised going into earnings. Tesla has been trading within just a few dollars of its all-time high. What does it have to pull off tonight? You know, I, I think, you know, as you said, the expectations are very high. I, I think the key points, so, you know, you have Berlin coming on, you have Austin coming on. And I think that, you know, uh, they have been operating, you know, at a Fremont uh, at a suboptimal uh, factory. I think as we see these new factories come on, we'll see the profitability there. We'll so start seeing numbers go up. You still have half the street that has either a, a, a hold or a sell on the, on the company. So sentiment is still, uh, even though, you know, the stock's hitting all-time highs, sentiment is still um, uh, not, not as great as, as some things out there right now. And I, and I, and I do think it's a core holding for uh, both mobility and, uh, and energy. One of the biggest questions going into tonight's earnings and earnings call is whether Elon Musk is actually going to be running it or making an appearance. Do you think he will? And how important is it for investors, especially retail investors, to hear from him? You know, I, I think it's it's very important. Uh, you know, the last call, uh, and several people have asked me if, if he's going to be on the call. Um, I, I think that, uh, you know, he'll, he'll make an appearance every now and then. I don't know tonight. There's always a wild card. Um, you know, with every Tesla call, uh, and there's always a wild card card out there. Um, I think that um, you know, with with everything going on at SpaceX, that uh, he's got his hands full there, and and with Tesla operating as efficiently as it is uh, right now, that uh, you know he's not going to do uh, mundane things like this. So, you know, uh, quarterly calls. <laughs> yeah, quarterly calls can seem very mundane compared to uh, going to space. That's true, Ben. Uh, what are you expecting, if anything? Any comments regarding its full self-driving feature in terms of what that can add or take away from the valuation, especially with sort of some updates coming through and the idea of this being a subscription model software? Next leg for the company after Jim Chanos calls it still a car company. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's a that's an important point there. And if you just run out, you know, the, how much they're spending in R and D, and they start th seeing things like they did at um, their AI day, where they're going to have like a you know a, a, a AI robot uh, building cars. But you know, that's why it's not just a car company. Uh, f full self driving continues, I think, uh, to get attach rates going higher. So we'll we'll start seeing you know that in margin going forward. I do think that that's you know another leg to the profitability uh, of the company, and and one of the big things that we just rewind maybe two years ago, uh, we were talking about you know the going concern or people were talking about that. Uh, now you know I think they're going to probably end the quarter with 17 billion dollars, uh, you know a after deploying probably you know a billion and a half dollars, uh, 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 and so they're just running at a faster pace than everyone else out there.